All right, Max here with Moab Off-Road. Today I'm gonna to talk about some trailer maintenance. I think that a lot of our customers get to the point where they're wheeling a whole lot, they buy a trailer, and they start trailering their rig to the trails. And sometimes a lot of the trailer maintenance gets overlooked. I'm not gonna talk about wheel bearings and, and tires and some of those things, but today what we're gonna talk about is some of the hardware. As you can see here, this is an equalizer and the shackle that goes in between the two leaf springs. What's happened over time is it's oblong these holes, wore out the plastic sleeve that used to be in here, and actually started to break through the shackle. <clears throat> On this particular trailer, it has ripped through the shackle, the bolts did, and the leaf spring came up on the frame and the tires started rubbing the fenders. Here's kind of a view here of where it's hourglass, the bolts. If you do a little uh, visual inspection on your trailer, the bolts are gonna be here like this. You'll see a little air gap on the bottom of where it should have been in the hole. If you see that, it's obviously time for replacement. <clears throat> Excuse me. What we've done is, since we were replacing all these components, we upgraded to this greasable bolt and shackle assembly. It's got some knurling on here that swedges into the shackle plate. That's actually a press fit. Once it's pressed in, these don't move, and it greases the sleeve here in the leaf springs. Keeps it lubricated really nice. The nuts are a stamped lock nut, or what they would call a Stouffer nut, and a new equalizer. The equalizer that we purchased came with plastic sleeves already installed into it, and this is what it looks like when the assembly is installed. If you have a trailer and you're towing a whole lot, I highly suggest that you look at some of these components. We can get these components for you, for your trailer, and we can do the install on your trailer for you. Um, on this particular setup to do all the bolts, all the sleeves and the leaf springs, the equalizers, and um, all the hardware was roughly a couple hundred bucks, uh, just in parts, not including labor. If you need anything else, keep us in mind, moaboffroad.com.